Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome back to Misto Plays Rogue Legacy. So we left off last time with Sir Dude, the Dwarf Paladin, taken from us. Taken from us in the prime of his life by Alexander the Dirtbag Skull. Rest in peace, Sir Dude. You were truly blessed by Helios. And now we need to pick our new friend. We have Sir Teddy the Mage, who is Dextrocardia and colorblind. Whoa, Dextrocardia is actually a really interesting trait for a mage. Huh. Well, that's actually really interesting. That that might actually like I normally don't play mage, but having him with Dextrocardia is really good actually. Oh, the one, the one. Oh, that trait is good. And, uh, Lady Faye the Mage with EHS. You conduct electricity really well. Oh, that skill is pretty good, but if we're gonna pick a mage, it's gonna be this one with the Dextrocardia. Or we could pick the one. He is the one. Do we want to stick to our paladin theme here? Like, we picked, uh, no, Sir Lee was chosen for us. We picked two paladins in a row. Let's, let's go. He is the one. He's the one, guys. We have to. He's the one. Oh, 5,370 gold. That's pretty good. Uh, what did we unlock? Oh, let's check our runes. Nothing good. Oh, we have a bounty rune. We got that long ago. That's fine. And we got a bounty rune here, which would be pretty good to get. These take a long time to pay for themselves, though, because every purchase after this is going to be 175 more. So every rune I buy after this would cost more. Uh, if if we have the money left over, we'll buy that. Uh, what did we get here? Blood sword, not gonna use. We just don't want to lose the two damage. Like, like as you saw, five damage was the difference between winning the Alexander fight easily and losing. Uh, Night helm is very good. We should probably buy that and wear it. And it only weighs five. We can put that on right now. Yeah, grab that. Puts us clean 150 HP. Uh, not gonna use that. Armor's garbage. I'm not going to use that. We're not using magic this playthrough, and we don't really want crit chance or critical damage since we have no crit chance. Uh, we, we'll buy those if we have leftover money, basically. Uh, let's come here. It's time to get the damage to one-shot those guys. Hopefully they have the same HP. Uh, one, two, three. Boom! We can one-shot them. Oh, yeah! America! GG! We still have not seen a barbarian. <laughs> Like, we're, wait we're waiting to get this. That's like, this is our third roll in a row and we haven't seen one. We had two mages. Ugh. Ugh. Mage. Although Dextrocardia is really cool. We probably should have picked that. Just to have funsies. Uh, let's, let's keep getting damage just to be extra consistent. Actually, how much can we get here? Ooh, we could get like five of these. Let's do that. We can get four of those. Solid. Solid. 190. All right. HP is really, really strong in Rogue Legacy. Like, not only does it let you make more mistakes, it means every time you find chicken or all of the guaranteed chicken drops are more effective than they would have been. It means, uh, oh, that's what we need right there. Oh, exactly 56. I hope they don't change. In fact, we could lock down the castle and go fight that guy right now, but that would cost us a lot of money. Uh, just HP scales insanely well. Each chicken we find is better. Oh yeah, the one! Jacking in! Download EXE Mega Man! See, that's 19 from that chicken now instead of uh, the 10 we were starting with. So we've almost doubled... Can I, can I get that gold? Can I get that gold? Yeah, we got that gold! We've almost doubled the effectiveness of chicken that we find. And... Because we're the one, we have this really cool castle layout. I don't think this was actually in the game when I first played it, but I have seen it in, in playthroughs since then from, uh, anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Oh! Ah, I gotcha! But yeah, it just looks really tight. Really, really cool. Tight is such an old word. Where did that come from? Take no damage. Uh, we're gonna take no damage by just leaving this room. Oh, we're gonna take damage by going in that room. Shield up! We're playing Dark Souls now. Shield up! Shield up! Inner room, shield up! 
Oh, no, 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 don't. Oh, that cost us MP. That's our secret ability that we're going to use to fight uh, Alexander if we need. Ooh, there's some chicken. Hey, look at that. If we had another piece of blood equipment or a vampire rune. Vampire runes are insanely good. Um, are there any zombies there? No. Basically, wearing the vampire gear costs you 30 HP to get the same ability that other sets of items would give you, but don't cost you HP. No, oh, we almost timed that terribly. But the runes don't cost you the HP, so you just get the stat for free, which is awesome, and you can wear something different on your armor. Uh, rather than losing your 30 HP from this. So effectively having the rune gives you 30 HP. Plus the vampire trait, if you think of it that way. Uh, however, I don't, because if we get a vampire rune, we're going to be wearing that and, and have our uh, vampire... Wait, oh, do we have two pieces on? No, we have just the, just the chest, which looks awesome. Our cape turns red with the chest piece, which is kind of sad. I wish, like, that would have been different. Hey, It's time to get the Sonic curse again. So that this playthrough goes terribly. Uh, you can't win if you don't play. But that's also why people lose money at the lottery. Not looking, not looking! Yay! Woo! We're running hot! Two! Two in a row, Helios Blessing, guys. Let's... How many rooms have we cut? We have not cleared a lot of rooms. Let us go slay some enemies. Let's go get big. Oh, yeah. Give me money, son. Look at that. Oh, whoa. There's a little dwarf hole there. Hey, there's a little dwarf hole there. Woo. Okay, okay. We're running. We're running a little uh, risky here, but oh, so worth it. Oh, yeah. The enemies from that room were worth almost as much as the chest. If not more. I didn't actually do the math, but they're worth a lot. Take no damage. This is just like a tedious jump puzzle. I am not a fan of jump puzzles. Hey, this is area three or two, or is it both? No, that's just straight up the Maya. Wow, both of these. All right, we're of course gonna save these. And uh, we're just gonna go back this, whoa! That made me sad. So we failed that room, even if we wanted to go back and try it later. Uh, just because we accidentally hit the slide button. My bad. Alright, let's, let's play safe. Let's keep playing safe as we always do. And try to build up our HP again. It's really hard with one vampire room. It adds up for sure. Like, or one vampire skill. It adds up for sure. Definitely worth it. Would use it all day long. But, uh, it would be way better if we had more. Hey, I'm just not gonna roll you. That's gonna replace our item if we use it. Hey, this is just a puzzle. We can do this. It's not really a puzzle. It's just... Oh. How annoying would that be if I just did that all day? Silver chest piece. That's good. That's definitely something we might use instead of our blood chest piece. Uh, now we gotta get out of here, though. Much harder to get out of here with no damage. Just give up our <laughs> precious MP. Oh, we should check up here. Hey, we can get story time from this area. Cool. Uh, we can break those if we have the clumsy ability. I don't think you can cut them, though. Story time! Journal entry number five. I cannot exit through the front gates, but that is of little concern. I am committed to my cause and will not back out. So far, none of the maps I've found coincide with my own. Yet upon comparing them as a whole, I believe I have unearthed a slight pattern. It seems the forest is always to the right. The tower above. Below? Well, hopefully I won't have to find out. Uh, yep, below is the land of darkness. Can I break this? Nope, okay. We did. We broke it. Let's leave. Oh, we're not gonna do that. Healer's blessing is really good. We're, we're happy with it. Uh, let's go, dash! Woo! Chicken? No chicken. Hey, there's chicken. This brings us to the... Yeah, wait. Okay, that is the forest. It was hard to tell because of the one. 
All right, let's see. Do we have more rooms? We have more rooms in the blue. So let's let's teleport past these traps, go to the other side of the castle, and we're going to explore more. Uh, one, it's going to get us our HP back by killing these basic enemies, and two, we have Helios Blessing. So we want to kill these basic enemies for sure. And look at that! Chicken! Rewarded! Rewarded! Journal entry number six. I have never liked the dark. I prefer to meet my enemies on an open field in the plain sight. But now I find myself braving these darkened gallows with one gauntlet outstretched, the other by my hilt. I can never tell what horror lies beyond each corner. I am the greatest swordsman in all the lands, yet even I am having trouble keeping these demons at bay. My siblings should be grateful that I rushed ahead of them. For them, it was a blessing in disguise. They would not have the fortitude to survive these halls. This guy's so cocky. So cocky, I hope he's dead. He's probably dead. How much HP do you have? 45, we can kill you in one shot. Woo! Oh, snap! Let's get this gold, 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 gold. All the gold, gold, dropping down. Woo! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's definitely... They don't hang on the wall. They don't hang on bookshelves. That's... Who would put a portrait on a bookshelf? That doesn't even make sense. You're not a book. Get off there. Crushed you. Oh, down's probably going to lead us to the... Nope, that's going to bring us to the land of darkness. And we're going to... What was in there? Uh, nothing. The other rooms should probably connect there. We'll, we'll take the chicken. We'll take the chicken cash out now. Remember the land of darkness one? Oh! That would have been... Oh, there's a chest in that room. Not worth it. We have Helios. We just want to kill. No more basic enemies. And then go to the second area. This boss, if we can. Oh, we have a bit more HP. And hopefully the enemies haven't leveled up more. I don't know how they work on the boss. If they're always 55 HP. Oh! Okay. I don't know if they always have 55 or... If it's just going to be a luck thing or what... Uh, can you shoot through that wall? You know you can't, but I can. That guy can if he gets close enough, so we're going to try to get out of here pretty fast. Alright, see you guys. Peace out. Woo! And that is uh, one more room. At least one more room. Two more rooms. Some number of rooms. That is not zero. Hey, this guy's a... Wow, he's actually really weak. We can just about two-shot him. Ah! One gold! 100 gold. Totally worth it. Oh, I'm just gonna leave. I, I don't need to fight you at all. There's another room up here. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Hey, we can get a cool uh, new spell. Uh, dagger's not very good for doing any kind of room. So we're gonna take this because it can be used on some fairy rooms. We might see them. Uh, if we find a room that suddenly the dagger was good for then we'll just cry and you can laugh at me in the uh, comments down below but uh i feel ooh, I feel that there's a room to the left we forgot i feel like i don't remember any room you can use the dagger for it doesn't have any kind of trick to it like it can't go through the walls and most of these rooms oh have a uh, hey there's the boss money and blueprints can we get the rest of the bad blueprints so we don't get them in good areas no uh, they're not really bad blueprints, you know what I mean? No, I mean, man. No, I mean. Oh we, oh, we gave up money for that. That's fine. Woo! Because we're getting more money, money, money. Loads of dollars. Oh, I don't think we need to do it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, uh, this would be another pretty good. We've been running pretty hot. I don't... This might be easier than I remember it. Like, this game was definitely hard when I played it the first time. I guess your skills, you just don't forget them. Plus, having the general game knowledge is really good. Like, being able to beat the boss, the uh, Cure Deer boss, the first time, first uh, on your Surly, is pretty good. That's a good start that you want to do. And uh, I don't think it's an impressive trait, impressive, uh, bleh, impressive feat. It's nothing original, nothing a million people have not done before. Oh, there's a room down here. And it's a room with nothing in it. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back there if we need to heal. Let's come here and let's go to... Yeah, we'll clear all that. Let's go to the forest. Let's go to the forest, people. It's time to do it. Woo! We're going in the forest with a full Menagio and HP and Helios' Blessing and quite a bit of gold. 
Okay, got you. Uh, we'll just move on. Oh, wow. I just, I just straight up don't like that room. I'm... I don't like it and I'm leaving. And I did. Woo, what was that? Hey, this is a chest here. That's cool. Hey, you're dead. Oh, uh, does this room... Yeah, it does. Alright, I think we're gonna have to fight another blaze lock like that. Hey, there's money. Oh, what? You jerk. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're in a bad place. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, well, we lost a lot of HP for no reason. Okay, okay, okay. Let's play safe. Try to correct our mistake in time. Oh, that was narrow avoiding. Oh, jeez. Dude, you are a joke! This is a joke, right? You must be joking. You must be joking. Oh! I thought he was gonna be blocked by the wall. Uh, we didn't get hit, luckily. I think that was more luck. I don't know how my reaction was there. I would, I would not grade it 10 out of 10. And grade it, um, 5 out of 7, I guess. 5 out of 7 sounds about right. Oh, uh, did I miss something to break up here? No. Gotta say, being the one is pretty awesome. This is a pretty hype playthrough. Whoa! Alright. Okay, just stay calm. Stay calm and deal with that guy. Um, you guys are jerks. Uh, you are... You're okay. I'm, I'm fine with you. Jump up here, little dude. Jump up here, little man. Come on, pop up on, uh... Oh, wow! We got hit by food. Oh, we got hit by food. That does not feel good. Let's see, we gotta come up. Okay, I think as he gets lower, he spins them faster. Oh, we're definitely safe. Okay, we want to try to get that where the big one is off screen. There we go. Only one of them said. There's two big ones. The long one, sorry. The long, the far away one is off screen. Okay, alright, alright. How do you want to move? There you go, sir. I made room for you. Um... Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay, let's get him over here and then... There we go. Alright, you want to come to me too, sir? Yes, you do. Good. Good. I will meet you on the honorable battlefield. Actually, I really wish I had a shield. I love shields. Like, in... In, uh, Demon Souls, my first build was just like a mage with the tower shield. And it was so satisfying. And after doing that, I tried to use... Oh! Getting distracted. Oh my goodness, we're gonna die. Woo, that was a good use of the shield. Pat on the back for me. Pat on the back for me. Let's go pick some chicken and magic up. And, uh, is this a good one? Hey, that's a great one. Blood cape is definitely something we're gonna buy. Uh, your capes you buy mostly for the ability... I'm so scared. I am so startled. Okay. Uh, Blood Cape is... Like, Cape is an item you buy purely for the ability. Uh, I'm fine doing this. If you just want to stand there and let me hit your shield. Uh, so, it wasn't until Dark Souls 3 that I finally had a game where I could use shield as my weapon for realsies and not be a troll. Uh, in Dark Souls 3, I don't know if it's been patched, but you could actually use the uh, Havel shield as a very effective weapon. Like, very effective. Uh, it was actually considered like a high level PvP strat. Because it was so hard to guard break, even if you were kicking it with like the rings that let you kick harder, oh, you just couldn't break it. And you could attack when you had your shield up. So it was just ridiculous. It was... It was honestly imbalanced, but I was really happy I could beat the game PvE like that. Now, PvE is not the same as beating, um, players. It's definitely more, uh, balanced in the PvE. It's- it was harder in the PvE. Like, it was probably broken for PvP. PvE, it felt satisfying. It felt like a fair way to play the game. And it let me play the game the way I've always wanted to. I just love, like, using a shield as a weapon. Oh! Donald Duck from Kingdom Hearts. This is my heart swoons. Oh, wait, not Donald Duck. Uh, Goofy. Goofy from Kingdom Hearts. 
My heart swoons. Just charge in, smack him with a shield. I don't care. Ah, ah, ah. So satisfying. Plus, we got this cute little shield. Like, yeah. Like a true neighbor, Mr. Bones is there. Oh, there's a horse. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Woo! Okay, okay. Hey, they can't jump down. Oh, but he can. Run at me. Oh, it's stupid green mage making me move. I don't like moving. I'm like Snorlax. Snorlax is my inner Pokemon. I don't want to move. Spring food to me. I'll move for food all the time. All day long. Is food over there? I'll be there. I'll be there. Oh, that room is something we gotta do. Let's go this way. I think this is a dead end, so we can go ahead and clear out uh, one side of this faster. Oh, it is not a dead end, but there's a chest here with no defense, just these two balls? That's bizarre. Okay, whoa, that's a mini boss. Uh, we, how much HP do they have? We can't tell. Oh, I just don't want to deal with that. Um, they are good to fight if you can. You definitely get a blueprint or stats from killing them. But, uh, mm, I just don't want to risk it right now. Woo. Okay. Hey, Macarena. Got him. Okay. So we're slowly building up our HP. We have a large HP pool, so it will take a while to fill up with this just two at a time. Once we get our blood cape, though, next run, oh, we're going to be getting four at a time. That room is the same scam again. Uh, if we can one-shot these guys, it'll be easy. We cannot. They have 50, 67. Oh, my goodness. What if that boss is stronger now? I'm just going to cry if we get to that boss and they can survive. Oh, well, we're going to leave that money because I want the chest more than the money. Even though the chest is probably just money. That's a lot of money right there. Oh, my goodness. If you keep these guys at range, the way they only fire, like, in the uh, up and down, left and right uh, things, it's actually very easy to dodge them just standing still. And you can usually hit them. It's the same way the boss functions. You can hit him while he's attacking. It's just, uh... It might be tough. We're gonna see what we can do when we get to him. We're gonna see what we can do. Money, money, money. And then we get to break all this. Oh, yeah. Even more money. 6,000. This is our best run, money-wise, so far. Got you, dog. Get out of my face. Okay, come over here. Try to get this guy. Nope. He's casting. Let's just leave. Oh, come on. We could have had him. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Can we get this dog? No! I would have had it too if it wasn't for your darn dog. We've gotten away with it. Uh, we're kind of hovering around the same HP. We're making the same amount of stakes. We're making mistakes at a rate at which we are gaining our HP back. Uh, is there anything in this room even worth this? Yeah. There's a chest. This ball is in a really bad place for us. Okay. Woo! Got him. We had to use our shield there very effectively. Uh, using your spells and your character's special ability is definitely what will separate a good and bad player. And we are a bad player, but we always strive to get better on this channel, as you've seen in our Don't Start playthroughs. Our early 100-day challenges, <laughs> Woo, we did not, we did not really make much progress. But in our in our later ones, we're we're kicking butt. We're taking names. Oh, I thought he had three hits. We're kicking butt and taking names. Woo! Oh, got gotcha, you, son. Oh, aggressive. B, aggressive. B E, aggressive. Oh yeah. Okay, this guy is really poorly positioned. That was unfortunate for him. Oh, this one sucks. There we go. One shot. One kill. What's in here? Chest? Okay, get this guy. Get out of here. Woo! Done. Oh, we should have shielded. There, that was a clear moment to shield. Oh my goodness, okay, we can hide here. We can just hide. 
All right, we just hide. We just hide this corner. This corner is our safety corner. It makes us feel happy, cozy. All right, protects us. Uh, we have left some chicken on the map, so we can go back and get those. The always chicken spawns. And hopefully, have we found this boss yet? We have. We have. Uh, we've actually cleared the entire green area now. Uh, so we got to get out of here without hitting, getting hit by the balls. No balls to the face. That's not what we want. We have a lot of uh, HP that we can have. Can I, can I break that see what we get? Oh, yeah, I'll take that. 10 gold all day long. Woo, dodge. Oh, that's the exact opposite of what I wanted to do with my life. Uh, so, yeah, I even if we left all the chicken, we're not going to make up that one hit. We should have just moved a bit slower just to be extra safe. Uh, I think it's still better for us to go to the boss than one of the mini bosses. Oh, if we would have got a hit in there, I would have just cried. Oh, there's a lot of HP we could get here, but... Let's travel up here. I think we left all of them except for the one down at the uh, very bottom. But we'll check anyways. Alright, we'll check all of them. Let's do our quick thing before we commit honorable Sudoku. The most honorable of deaths is always Sudoku. 112 HP, not good. We did get this one exactly as I thought. Uh, whew. We can do this. We, we can try. If we don't make it, we have a lot of money. But I'm going to be really sad if his little minions got slightly stronger after I got slightly stronger. That's going to make me so sad. Because I picked this upgrade path specifically based on what they were doing. Uh, we could fight that mini boss. He's, he's not too bad. Uh, you mostly just pogo him to death. But we're going to try. We're going to try this. Alexander! I'm calling you out. You're on notice, sir. Let's do this. America. Home of the free. Oh, he stopped in a really nice place. All right, let's get up. We want him to not be there when he just does his stuff. Oh, my goodness. They're weaker. What? Wait, why are they weaker? If they were this weak last time, we would have totally been able to do this. Oh, we gotta, we gotta get these enemies up. And we gotta get some chicken from this roof. Oh, uh, okay, I'm safe there. What? Are you joking? The last... Oh my goodness, I can... What? He doesn't move during his attack. If the first one didn't hit us, none of those should have hit us. We were safe. How did that hit us? I feel completely cheated. Oh my goodness, we could have won that fight so easily. I cannot believe that happened. I am really upset because, like, that that look, that feels bad as a player. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, we stood there. The first part of that attack that comes in a straight line and has a consistent hitbox did not hit us. But for some reason, the last one did, and it hit us for the 56 damage, which is insane. What? Oh. Rest in peace, Sir Cohen. You had a very good run. We did get a lot of money. I'm just sad that we didn't get to kill the boss. Rest in peace. I think we should be able to get him next time. We're going to be a lot stronger with this purchase. Uh, we're going to keep rolling the stronger characters unless it forces us to pick someone bad. But uh, we will see what happens. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this otherwise solid playthrough and a really pitiful boss attempt, please hit that like button. Uh, if you have any recommendations for games you would like to see me play in the future, leave me a comment down below. And as always, if you would like to continue surviving together, uh, please hit that subscribe button, and you'll be automatically updated anytime I upload a new video. Alright, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let's go, Samaras.